there. Today I'm going to make the prompts from Bentley House Miniatures. Darkest Raven Design made a sock monster and Bentley House Miniature made a cool chair of a sock. So I'm just going to skip that and I'm going to make uh, the word as it is socks. So I'm going to make socks for the 1 to 12 dolls. I hope you like it. I have this doll body and it is in 1 to 12 and yes it's missing the head. For the socks I'm using this knit fabric. This is a glittery one I have but in the edge it has no glitter so I'm going to take a part of that and cut it out. I'm going to sew it together on the back side of the leg and I'm using a back stitch for this so I'm just taking my time and sewing it all the way up to the toes. And I'm following the shape of the leg so it sits nice and tight. I sew a few stitches backwards before I cut off the string. Then I take the sock off and I'm going to cut the excess fabric and then I'm going to turn it inside out. Then I put it back on the leg of my doll and I'm going to sew the other one and I'm just going to do it like this. I pull the sock or stocking a little back and then I'm going to take some cling wrap and I wrap this around the upper leg on my doll. This will avoid uh, getting glue onto my girl. Then I place the sock right again and I take this little orchis uh, lace that I made and I'm going to show you how to a little later. I take my fabric glue and I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to glue the lace down on top of the sock. I'm putting a tiny bit of the glue on the last string here and let it dry a little before I cut it off. If you don't know how to make orchids, this can be quite hard and difficult to see from this video, but I'm going to try anyway. I loaded my orchids needles with black sewing thread and here is the pattern we're going to use. We start on the left with the loop that is there. This one has four picots. Then we go down in the bow and make the five picots. Back up and make another 
loop with four picots and so on. The red numbers indicate how many knots there is between the picots. I'm taking the thread from both Orky needles and I'm making this kind of loop around my fingers as you see me do right here. So we are making the knots around this little loop you see me make and I'm going with my blue Orky's needle under this and under the thread of my blue needle. This time I'll go over and over the thread of my blue needle and I'm going to pull this tight together and that's my first knot. We needed two knots before the first picot, so I'm making one more right here. So we are going to make the first picot, and I do that by making the first a piece of the knot and I'm not going to pull it that tight this time so I have this little bow like thing on my thread before I make the second part of my uh, first knot then I'm going to take it and make it tight and you get this little picot that was one knot and now I'm making the knot number two the picots are actually in between two knots so when you make your next knot and this little loose picot, then you actually have your knot number one. So to make the first loop, you are going to have four picots. So you start with two knots, then you make the four picots with each two uh, knots after them. Here I'm making my fourth picot and I'm making my two uh, knots after the picot. So this was the first knot and then I'm going to make the second knot. Like that. Then I'm going to take this little loop off my fingers and I'm going to pull the string carefully through it. Keep the white and the blue Orkis needles strings away from this little loop. And there you have the first loop that you made. Now we are going to make the bridge. I'm going to take the thread from my blue Orkis needle and put it around my long finger so that I can stretch it out from my loop and to the finger. With my white Orkis needle I'm going to make the first knot. And then my first picot. And as you can see there's only one knot between these picots. So while making this picot, I'm actually making the first knot as well. So right after this has been built, I'm going straight in to the next picot. I do this five times so that I have these five picots needed. This is quite hard to explain like this. So I hope you understand it, otherwise just skip this, you don't need to do it. You can make the socks with a normal lace as well, but I liked to get a lace that fits perfect to the socks.
So I have the first loop right here and the bow right here. So now we are going to go into this loop and that is going to be made a tiny bit different. I'm taking my blue Orkis needle and I'm wrapping the thread around my fingers in a loop. And this loop is starting from the bow and here I am going to make the first knot. This time I'm going to pull it tight so that the loose knot is around the string from my needle. So I make the half knot and I'm pulling the string tight so the knot jumps to the other string and then I'm just pulling the knot down tight. So that was the first knot and I'm going to make the second knot the same way. Pull it so it jumps and pull it down and again with the second half of this knot. This way you have this circle that can be tightened or loosened if you want to. Now I'm going to make a picot through the last picot of the uh, first loop. So I take my crochet needle and I pull the thread from the loop I have around the fingers through the last picot. Make sure the thread here is not uh, turning around. Then I put the blue Orkis needle through the loop. Then I pull in my loop string till it's tight and the loop is resizable again. Now it's time for two new knots. What I'm making here, remember, pull the string tight so the knot jumps to the other string and you still have this uh, effect that you can tighten or loosen the loop around your fingers. Make the next picot and this will be number two as the one we put together was the first one. Continue with picots and two knots until you have three visible picots and the one that is connected. So that is four in total. Then pull the string from the blue Orkis needle and it will shape this little loop again. Then I carefully cut off the excess strings from the start without cutting into my Orkis lace. And after the loop we make a bow and again we have five picots with one knot between each other. Continue like this, making loops where the first picot is connected with the last picot in the loop before this picot you are making. And after a loop you make the bow where you start with one knot and then the picot and continue like that until you have five picots. Continue till you have six whole loops and six whole bows. Then I roll out some of the thread on the white Orkis needle, so I have a pretty nice long uh, piece of it before I cut it off. Then I start on my last loop again with the blue Orkis needle and I'm making this bow around my fingers starting with two of these uh, knots where you pull the thread so the knot jump to the other one. After the two knots I am going to go through the picot in the last loop with my crochet needle 
and going to pull the loop that I have around my finger through that picot. Then I put my Aukis needle, the blue one, through that loop and pull so that I still have this uh, circle around my finger that I can make bigger or smaller if I want to. Then I make two new knots. And picot number two, followed by two more knots and picot number three, and then two more knots. Now comes the hard part. I'm going to take the thread from around my fingers and I'm going to take my crochet needle. I put that down the first picot in the first loop and then pull out the thread from around my fingers through this loop. Then I put my blue Aukis needle through that loop that I just made and I slowly pull out the loop around my fingers to get this little loop away again and make sure you have it lying the right way so that you still can slide the loop, make it bigger or smaller. Then end off with two knots. And carefully pull the thread from the blue orchis needle so that you make this little loop nice and tight. So now your lace is kind of a little loop like this, but we're not all done because we need the last bow. To make the last bow I'm going to take the th thread that we cut a piece off and I'm going to pull that through that first loop we made in the start. And I'm not going to pull it all the way through. Then you have this double thread going through your loop. I'm putting the little lace on this uh, crochet needle to keep it in the shape and to keep it uh, steady while making the last bow that I'm doing with my blue Aukis needle and that's just like every other bow you made. Then slowly pull the thread from the white Aukis needle and pull it slowly through so that you get the bow to sit where it's supposed to. Just do it really, really slowly. Now you can cut off the thread from the white Aukis needle 
and be careful that you don't cut into the lace. And then you just glue the lace on at the top of the sock, just like with the other one. Give the last string from the sock a little glue as well. Let the glue set and when it's all hardened you can cut the string off as well. And then this sock is all done. And here is my version of the prompt socks from June 2020. I made literally socks for the doll. This was a quite long video, I'm sorry about that. I hope you liked it anyway and I will see you next week. Happy crafting!